So what'd you think of the movie, Dave? You're just gonna look at the loading screen. I like it. Um, holy fuck, guy. That was actually a really good movie. Um, it was what I wanted it to be. It was super long, and there was way more action in this movie than the first movie. And the um, yeah, my mic's kind of just <laughs> falling over. But, <laughs> but um, it was what I wanted it to be. I was very pleased with uh, Dune Two. Yeah, I I liked that. Uh, I liked that there were like a lot of slow periods. I know that the last one had a little bit. It was a little too slow, but this one like it brought you down from the like high levels of intensity really well. Oh yeah, and um, well, I know what I'm trying to think of, dude. I I'm thinking a lot about uh, the girls, the metal headpiece she had on at the end. Florence, uh, I don't know her name in the movie. Oh, the like gla- the, the broken threat. glass, dude. The emperor had her yeah, dangling like, in her eyes. If you uh, like, if you were to make out with her, you'd slice up your face. That might be hot. That <laughs> might be part of what you want. Uh, I was saying, like, what a terrible burden for Paul is to choose between the emperor's daughter or Zendaya. She's the emperor's daughter. Yeah, what a terrible burden for him. I feel like that's not a burden. I f- the not picking Zendaya. It, are you, a, are you going with the Emperor's Daughter or Zendaya? Oh, Zendaya. Oh, dude. Dude, okay. I, I wanted to talk about this, but the there was like a couple moments in the movie where Zendaya gives him that look of like, I am down. Yeah, it's like she wanted to like jump him. Oh, like yeah. Like it was funny because when, when, um, when he gave the look the first time of like, of like, bro, I'm falling. Like I'm done. It was when... Uh, she like walked up and whispered in his ear and was like, Ooh, Sewell. Yeah. He was but like, sitting on the, he was the trembling, sand. dude. Yeah. He, he, everyone he, came up and hugged him and she like hugged him and whispered it. Mm. And he was like, Oh, she, but then her, her like first moment was when he was riding like the grandfather worm mm. and was like, and she's, you could, she was quivering. Yeah. Her bottom lip was, like, was quivering. Yeah. When she called him Ooh, Sewell there, she put like her lips like on his neck. All seductive, like dude. I was ready to go, and of course he was riding the biggest worm. Yeah, oh, is, you think that's a euphemism? Worm. Too big. You think that that's because he has a small dick? Like it's like a big. Truck? Are you saying Paul does or Timothy does? Timothy definitely doesn't. Maybe Paul. He's too skinny to have a. Small Do you think dick. they would like put a prop dick that's like smaller for him? No, he'd have giant. <laughs> what about what about the Baron's dick? Man, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude, those the, the if we're rating dicks, if we're rating dicks, the, the Baron's dick is black and slimy. <laughs> it looks like one of the worms, but <laughs> black and it eats you up. <laughs> well, isn't uh, Paul half Harkonnen? There you go. So what's he got? He's got some abomination down there too. Then <laughs> definitely. Good. He has seen it. The Emperor's daughter has not. The Harkonnens like drooling too. That was fucking kind of weird it was just like a fountains coming out of their mouths <laughs> yeah i didn't point. i didn't notice yeah. that the the like new character i forget his name but elvis uh, what elvis elvis fade <laughs> yeah. his name's fade 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 ed fade, fade? f-e-y-d fade mm, okay yeah no he was he was drooling at one point he had some real slobber coming out of his mouth but no i didn't uh i didn't like that part <laughs> He had a nice posse, the fade guy. When they were introducing him, they were putting that black sludge on him. That's a he thing. A posse, like a, a, what are they? What do they call the when you have like a bunch of girls following you around? A, a harem? A harem. Yeah, he had a harem. <laughs> he, had he, had a, a harem. he had a harem of like cannibals yeah. though. He Hell was like, yeah. he was like, oh, these girls, they're hungry. Yeah. He's like, take the body to my room. Very Ramsey <laughs> Bolton. Come, yeah, how come we didn't get to see that? Yeah, that could have that could have made for some uh, they could quality have had a, they cinematic could have had a imagery. Wild, like orgy scene with that dead corpse fade and then his girls. That's <sighs> in the extended cut for sure. <laughs> Dude, we got gypped on the the Zendaya uh, Timothy Chalamet sex scene. I was ready to see uh, some some white skinny boy cheeks just <laughs> yeah, go they, bobbing they, up and down over top of Zendaya. Him, they should have given him a butt shot. They just he, the, I mean it would only be respectful. Yeah, there. What would it take for her to do the butt shot? They did. That's the problem. Is they didn't pay either of them enough. 
to do the uh, the nude scene. Was there? And there was no nudity in that movie at all. No, you can't let your fluids get stolen by the desert. So I wonder what was the keep your suit on. Movie? I mean, other than oh, like yeah, the like, naked wait, fetus. Were, are there fluids in in cum? They could use that for water. Are there fluids in cum? <laughs> no, I mean like, <laughs> they do it in the, like how they do it in the movie, like they like for like water. What do you mean? What? Well, like if you're thirsty, you can just come in someone's mouth. Come in your know. buddy's mouth. It's like, would you come in my they, mouth they if we were in the water desert? Sacred, so is like comes gonna be sacred. If we were in the desert, would you come in my mouth for me for survival? Absolutely. <laughs> I think it means like absolute respect. Like they spit to show respect in their culture. Imagine giving away that much fluid to somebody. <sighs> and I'm giving away like half a gallon. So Oof. we're really sacrificing a lot here. There's a lot of sand up in their bodies, too. You I might, would expect. You might be considered, like, a god over there, then. That volume of semen, they've never seen <laughs> Only the worms like come before. this much. <laughs> yeah, no, I liked the imagery when they had the lady, like, drink the, the worm blood poison stuff. I liked the imagery of, like, the blue coming through, like, the fetus, and, like, the placenta and stuff, like, infecting the sister. When she first drank it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That was that was that was fun, and then they're like, "That was fun." Well, I, just, I like they're like, "Oh my god, she's she's pregnant," and I'm like, "What the like? Isn't that isn't the like the Benio Jesuit mother or whatever like all seeing?" Like, yeah, did, I thought that too. Like, she didn't fucking know. Didn't, yeah, wouldn't they have just known as soon as she showed Couldn't up? Couldn't sense the presence of two ladies instead of just one. That's what makes her so powerful, though. She survived it while pregnant. There you go. And the baby, too. Because Paul's sister is going to be a, a real thug in the next movie. So is it the next movie powers? just going to, like, time jump? or? Yeah, it, it gave her powers, yeah. Right. She has she has clear sight. Okay, That's why yeah. she can, like, talk back Ooh, and forth yeah, to the baby. So the kid's going to be born with all that good shit that you get from the blue liquid. The, the baby's been shit. awake since it's been a fetus. Like, it's conscious already. That's wild. That mm. thing's gonna be elite. I, that thing's gonna be jaded as fuck. That thing's gonna be a, a child and just be sad all the time. Yeah, it's born into uh, that. That girl's gonna be born into a, a life that she cannot avoid. Well, they say that like babies can like taste like the food that you eat, like because through the placenta. So like she's just bitching at her mom half the time. Well, but what, what the is fuck she eating? she's eating? She's drinking like, a sand? sand. I don't even know what they yeah, eat she, on they, they, Arrakis. Did they show anyone eating anything in that movie? They don't eat. They I just, just saw, drink the fluids. I just saw the Baron guy eating mostly. Ooh, that scene in the first movie where uh, Oscar Isaac is naked at the table. Maybe that's why they're super. They have that stuff drooling out of their face because they're just super gluttonous. They have an abundance. Mm, like that's what they're trying to show that he, they. Uh, when the guy chopped off his IV at the end there and then bashed his. His uh, spine thing that made him float. Yeah. He was like drooling on the floor. Mm. Like once they cut off his IV, he was like drooling. I don't know. I don't know, dude. The Harkonnens have a lot of water, but not good. Apparently. <laughs> Very moist people. <laughs> they said they said that the guys, uh, the, the Harkonnens uh, water was like poisonous. They don't yeah, drink chemicals. Drink. They don't drink Full it. Full of chemicals. I they were using why. it for something still though. He said the cooling in the suit. And the cooling in your suit. So you have like a separate cooling system. So like if you if you ran out of water in the regular system, you like tap into the cooling system, suck that back. It's like ocean water. Do you know what though? At any given point, the water coming out of your suit is hot. Like you're drinking human tea. <laughs> they don't talk about the fact that like the entire time you're there, you're going to drink hot water. In the beating sun. Does uh, does the water have a taste to it, like a tinge to it? Does I, it get worse I hope so. over time? I hope that like, because in the in the original Dune, they have like a little straw on their uh, what do you call it? On their like their lapel, and they can just like drink whenever they want. Because like this in this, like, how's the water getting back into their system? Just shooting it up their butt. Yeah, I I don't know, dude. So essentially. I'm thinking like you could drink from somebody else's straw, like you you get a little taste of what they taste like. Oof. That's the ultimate. That's having sex on their planet. It's drinking from another person's straw. 
That's, um, do you some know? Avatar shit. Uh, yeah, I'm taking notes. Of you're taking notes. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't remember things. You're you're gonna put. Uh, you're gonna give me notes after the show. No, I'm using notes for myself to uh, remember stuff to bring up. I read that um, George Clooney gave. He he got like uh, letterhead printed with Brad Pitt's name on it, and he sent Meryl Streep notes about how she could act better, like as if he were Brad Pitt, just to piss her off. <laughs> That's beautiful. Well, she needs acting. Yeah, definitely. Tips for sure. Definitely. That Devil Wears Prada, what a horrible movie. The I liked how they made um Who's the Stillgar? What's his name in real life? The what? Stillgar. That guy in the movie, Stillgar. Oh, uh he was D Buddy from Pirates of the Caribbean? Movie. For isn't he Verdum? No Country from Old Men? Mauricio Verdum? Verdum? Is that a fighter? Oh, Javier Bardem. Javier. Okay. Dude, yeah, that, that guy's guy sick. Fighter. You ever watch No Country for Old Men? Yes, absolutely. Oh, man. That guy's a fucking killer in that movie. Nobody's used that uh, machine to murder in any other film that I know of. The compressed air gun. Mm, true. I'm not sure how effective it Actually, would have been in real life. But would it hurt? Would that hurt? I mean, if he didn't get it in the head, probably a lot. Would it just punch a hole in you? Like, if he put it up to your arm? I, I don't know. I assume. Like, because that's what it does to cattle. Jeez. But, but uh, I mean, it yeah, it's more for funny. killing cows. It's gonna do some damage. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, gonna yeah. punch a hole through your body. Well, we saw that it uh, it does damage. Why didn't he have it in this movie? It probably would have been more effective. They in the original Dune, they have like these. Um, they left this out, which is highly unfortunate. Uh, I'm assuming they just thought it was like too silly. But they in the original Dune, they talked about, or I say the original, I mean like the 1985 movie. They talked about how. Uh, or, or they had like a, a weapon where you shoot your voice. It's like you say a like grunt word, you're like, Argh! and like it shoots and like will blow things up with sound. So Paul could like use the voice to amplify. That's it. exactly yeah. That's exactly one of the things that was happening. They thought it'd be too op for the movie. They, yeah. Well, and then there like there's a moment in like the other Dune movie where they're like, he like somebody says his name, but the things like attached to his throat still so he's like paul or like uso or whatever and uh it like shoots off by accident blows up like half a cave and then it's like the inner monologue for him he's like even my name was too powerful <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> he uh after paul found out that he was part harkonnen at the end there he went zero to a hundred he's like you know what fuck it i'm just gonna be this a piece of shit man. well like he walked in all mad everyone's like in that it, it looked like the cave from uh, kind of like Matrix vibes when they're all dancing in Matrix 2. Oh, they're all sitting in that For 100 cave. years! <laughs> yeah. And he just walks in like angry and he's like, I'm the one. No one can stand with me. Yeah. Like all of a sudden after he found out he was... I, I just didn't find that in. speech very convincing. He was like, your grandma died a while ago. And <laughs> the guy grandma, was like, oh my god, the someone king. Someone bludgeoned your grandma with a rock <laughs> <laughs> when she was 12. She got hit with a rock. What, what the fuck? What if that guy didn't know that? He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, surely he wasn't alive when his grandma was. And then, like, every time, any time Paul says, like, any kind of quote, freaking yeah. Javier was just like, Oh, dude. He was they, rewriting them all. Movie. They played homage to, uh, or homage to uh, uh, Life of Brian. Have you ever seen that? The, like, Monty Python's movie? Long time ago. Fuck, it's so good. But, like, in Life of Brian, they keep saying... Like, he keeps saying, like, I'm not the Messiah. And they keep going, only the Messiah would be so yeah, humble. Like, in this movie. It like, was so good. He's when humble. Like, dude, I, was, was I was dying when he said that. And they turned up uh, they turned up the funniness for that guy. In the oh, first yeah. movie, was real serious. But now... I like, I like, for once, that they portrayed, like, the religious fanatic as not being, like, off the deep end. Like, he wasn't crazy. He was just like he he had beliefs. He was down bad. For the <laughs> I mean, he was pretty dead. I guess he was ready to die. Yeah, he was ready to commit like some crazy atrocious uh, uh, crimes just for him. But but I just mean like he he seemed like level headed. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like a lot of times in movies they like they go off the fucking yeah, deep it, end it, with the religious. He, it seemed like he had a clear mind. Actually, when I think about it more, that he's just he's just Morpheus. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's just he, he, with he's less the sunglasses. I 
that's what this uh, movie's gonna become. Because in the first one, the mom of Paul was saying that he's gonna bridge space and time. Yeah. So he's just gonna yeah. become Neo, and then Dune Three is gonna be Neo versus. Paul he's gonna the see Matrix. the green streaks on yeah. Dune. Yeah. They're gonna be blue because of the what spice. What does that like when he when what does that even mean if um his his brain can bridge space and time? Does the universe just end? I don't know. Like I know, like the I read. How does I, he exist? I read a lot of the like Dune lore, and like I think Paul is supposed to like become. You see, like his end form is he merges his DNA with the DNA of the worms. And then he becomes like a worm person. And he like lives for thousands of years. Jeez. On Arrakis? I don't know if he's on... I know he like bans time travel or or space travel. Because they need the spice in order to travel in space. And it's not... It's not a fuel... It's like so. There's like a, a class of nav. This is nerdy as fuck, but the there's a guild. there's a class of navigators, like a species of navigators, and they control space travel. But the way they navigate is they take the spice and then they use the spice as like a psychoactive drug to navigate space. And that's the only way you can get anywhere. Like people don't know how to do what they do. So the reason the spice is so important is because. They like use it to navigate the universe, so it's the only thing that allows space travel. And the emperor like controls that class of people. But now that uh, there's going to be like the big fight at the end of it, I think that the story goes that Paul outlaws space travel and like doesn't allow anyone. And ki- I think he kills all the worms on Arrakis too, so that space travel can never happen again because the spice is the worms' dead bodies. Uh-huh. That's and like their bones. They I think I, I remember that. reading that it was like the worms get angry about those harvesting because it's like burial grounds of like other worms. Oh. I I don't know. Dude, maybe I'm talking out my ass here, but I, I think I remember something like that. And then the spice is like the dead worms, and that's how they use it to like travel space. Did at in the original movie the do they leave? Arrakis to go fight the other houses, like no. So the here? the original movie ends where this one ended, part two. So so they're they're gonna use books. Yeah, see? yeah. I think the rest of it is all gonna be based on. Is books. it possible they go part seven? I fucking hope so, dude. Yeah. Though <laughs> so, I mean, and, this literally, I was expecting. I think they made two movies just so that they weren't Star Wars, because Star Wars is like a New Hope. You get the the young character who like doesn't you know gets the mentor doesn't really know who he is and like is kind of coming into his own and then the second one they strike out they're like bang we're gonna you know we're coming at you and then in the third one uh the like empire is seemingly gonna win again and then Mm. and then they they overtake them so this seems like the exact same thing like they just struck out they beat them they beat the empire but now they're gonna have to face an even bigger foe which is Death, Death Star houses? Point Part Two, oh God. right? The bigger Death Star, or or now the fleet of the other houses, and they're gonna be like, it's, so it's it's following a similar storyline, the hero's arc. They're all but, are they all ditching Zendaya on the planet? Is she gonna be the only person left on the planet? She's gonna go sulk somewhere. I mean, one of the things I really liked about uh, about like her character was that. She had a lot of uh, like facial expressions that were like she didn't say a lot, she but she was acting through like facial expressions. Yeah. It honestly it reminded me of my mom. <laughs> my mom like is like really like stoic, <laughs> and like when she gets mad, you can tell like what she's mad about or how mad she is or like what she's feeling just based on like her like her frown and like the facial expression <laughs> she's showing. <laughs> so I'm just reading Zendaya like she's my mom. <laughs> it seemed, like it seemed like the second half of that movie, she had a constant angry face on. I mean, Paul, wouldn't you? Paul. Paul fucked her over. He told her exactly what he was going to do. She's like, let me give you this sweet, sweet desert, di- this outer space dick. He said, like, <laughs> if I if I go to that Southland, this is what's going to happen. And then she convinced him to go. That's true, actually. Yeah. He did say, I'll love you. Like, I, like that's, I, I was saying that to uh, Dylan on the way home. Like, I wonder if he said that to her, like, when, and then when he went into the Emperor's, like, I'm going to take your daughter. Uh, to be my wife, maybe it's like just a ruse. He doesn't actually mean that. So he's gonna like King Henry the Eighth, or he's just gonna fucking lop so her head off. So Zendaya is gonna be his mistress. His, but like, <sighs> you think Zendaya is mistress gonna be, material? It's gonna be mistress by title. I think it's his, she's it's his girl. 
I think and, she's like scary enough that she would she would not be she'd not allow a mistress position. Does the Emperor's daughter know how to fight? Maybe they have to fight for Paul. That be dude. That would be all right. That would be all right. And maybe, like, maybe that headdress is a weapon. You're right, dude. The, <laughs> the close quarters knife fighting is so scary. I love it. I like the. How do you I, not get nicked? Yeah. I, like, well, he got hit. stabbed. He got stabbed twice. twice. But how he many? He, he killed like point. countless people to get to that point throughout that movie. That's true. It's Ima- so close quarters. Imagine like getting stabbed twice. So so basically, what that movie was saying was that Boromir is a bitch because <laughs> because. Timothy Chalamet, who probably weighs a hundred pounds, got stabbed. He's he's literally pouring blood from two stab wounds, and not not like shallow. They weren't little knives. That was like a foot long knife. Oh yeah. He takes one to the stomach, one to the shoulder, stands up, and then says, "Let's fight everyone." <laughs> like he's just gushing blood at that point. Did they at all ask Timothy to try and put on some muscle and wait for part two? I mean, I I suspect that's why the suits were so such yeah, a big part of it. Well, the, there's that scene in the first one where him and his mom escape and they're like changing on that mm. rock, and he just looks like a tiny little boy. And, I, then, and then he fights jacked up, Harkonnen. That's guy. part of his character development. He's quick. This makes him quick. He's, he's agile. nimble. Yeah, he's quick. Yeah, like a desert. He mouse. doesn't even need to do the sandwalk stuff because he weighs 10 pounds. Maybe that's why they turned Batista into a bitch this movie because they were like they were thinking of the logistics of it and they're like yeah we can't have Timothy Chalamet beat Batista at the end. <laughs> like, that, that's not going to look People reasonable. People are not going to accept We that. need Josh Brolin to fuck Batista up. I like that they brought Josh Brolin back. I don't know how he survived but uh... Yeah but like he was seemingly working for the Harkonnens yeah, when he showed up, he showed up in like one of the the, the harvester machines. I yeah, was like, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah, what is this? I don't know how you explained that so he was working is there, for the Arcanists. Is there a third party on Arrakis stealing spice for themselves? Is that what that is? They're like I think they maybe, might have been kind of like bandits. Like, yeah, they're just like yeah robbers. I I mean that that could happen, I guess. And also, I don't know how the Harkonnens got the spice at all before that time because it seems like every time they went out the Fremen crews fucked them up I think like I think it's a matter it would probably be a matter of numbers right they like the spice is super now. valuable and then you think of it like uh, like mining unobtainium from Avatar like they were fucking things up too right but it's just like we're sending out so many mining parties that like you could take down three but every single time we send out 400 it's like we're still making profits like crazy. Do you think the Baron was being too hard on Batista? On Batista? You know what? Batista just seems like he grew up without a mom in this movie. And he just needed like... He needed one hug and that guy would have done well, anything you wanted. Um, Freaking uh, Elvis killed his mom and he turned out pretty alpha. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, they glossed over that so Dude, quick. Also, also the, that girl who was at that, the tournament... Watching him fight those guys, yeah, and then like followed him at the end there, and the at the night, yeah, she like raped him. <laughs> yeah. True. She like went, shit. I mean, she I... went back to the Bene Gesserit, which is like like it's done. Like I'm with his child, mm. and it's gonna be the girl though. That, but like that, those girls can just choose what the gender of the the kid's gonna be. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, apparently. Too. Well, they said they they said to Paul's mom. Like we told you to only bear Duke Leto women yeah. or children or daughters, yeah. and she was like. Well, Timothy Chalamet's a little <laughs> feminine, so... <laughs> well, I'm going to do my own thing. Maybe she has her own de- designs, too. She wanted to be the Reverend Mother the whole time and tell the main witch girl to fuck off. I'm. She clearly did. I really liked when Paul was like... I, he said, like, stand back or something. And, like, the Bennett, the whatever voice. She, like, fell and She, back. like, yeah. He just... <laughs> to everybody else in the room who didn't know what was going on, just saw Paul scream at an old woman <laughs> and her yeah. fall backwards from it. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. dude. dude hey, freaking... The Fre- Abraham loved it when he did that. <laughs> the, well, the, the Fremen, like, they don't know, like, what... Like, everything with the, with the Be- Bene Gesserit or anything. Power. Or who that lady is. So they just see him screaming at this old woman. They're like, do we pick the right guy? <laughs> like, it seems a bit... That's elder abuse, brother. But I no, I never thought about the... The rapey aspect yeah, of that girl like, just collecting him. him. And he had like that moment of like, oh, where are we? Yeah, like, he was lost. He was confused. But 
That's a he Hollywood a starlet from the sixties is going, Where are we? And it's at my quarters. <laughs> well, uh this is the, the fuck. wing? Ugh. Yeah. I've never been here. Jesus Christ. No, that's unfortunate. Can we we gotta talk about the the midget who wrestles the worms out of the pit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, like wondering that for how, quite a bit. I was like, man, that's a stump. That is that like a man or a woman? What is that thing, dude? That dude, no, I just like, I I died when she like climbed into the pit and started fucking making noise to try and wrestle the worm out. I'm like, surely there's a better way than just when potentially she put it in the water and suck the life water out of it. Does it die? Did she? I think it was. De- I think she drowned it and then. Took the, that's how does yeah. that how it produces the water at, at the moment of death. Maybe it's just always in it. It's just like more humane. It's like uh, it's like lobster. You want to stab it in the the forehead before you throw it in the hot pot, pot of water. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought they just throw them in live. They they used to, but then they say like the humane. Actually, I had like when I was in culinary school, I had a test where I had to kill a lobster by doing that first, and then like put it into the water. And you got marked based on like how swift you were, right? Like, <laughs> and so you got marked on it. And I stabbed it through the like top of the head. And when I went to like do the second motion where you like cut its head like in half, basically, my knife slipped and it just got lodged in the side of its head. And then I'm like struggling, and like the the chef is like standing there, like not helping me. <laughs> so I just take the back of my hand and jam the knife through, like. I punched the knife basically through its head, oh. and it like died. Did it explode? No, it just it just stopped moving. Its but, head is like hard though; it's like a like a, a shell. Yeah, like yeah. And well, up and, up head. until that moment, it was struggling aggressively. And I was like, I I did that, and I was like, this was awful. <laughs> I don't want to do this again. How come lobsters served with butter, and not any other condiment? I mean, they can be served with other condiments, but like what? what lobster. It's just so lo- butter is like. A soft condiment. So, like, lobster has, like, such such a delicate flavor to it that I think that putting it with something, like, strong... Like, you don't see... I guess you do, but, like, I feel like garlic kind of ruins the experience of lobster for me because it just I overpowers it. Good, like, like, like a light garlic, bit of garlic. A garlic aole. Maybe. Yeah, I could... I'm on a lobster roll? Yeah. Fuck. I need to get another bite to eat. <laughs> but, yeah, no. I, uh... Going back to killing the thing, I don't know if drowning it is like the most humane way to like in the movie or lobsters. The movie, you can't drown a lobster, so far as I know. Well, and if it's really hot water, you can. That's just cooking, boiling them alive. <laughs> but the the no, the midget does wrestling in the snake pit was great. Maybe like her being so short and stump is how she was able to wrestle. Or that's like the only job she can do out in the desert that's useful. Yeah, she would have died out in the desert. <laughs> well, maybe I don't know, but I don't know that. But uh, what? What even? So they were talking about like the usefulness of each person. What even is the use of anyone? Like they were like, oh, the is he will be useful. What about the mom? Well, she'll only be useful if she's the whatever mother. Like is that yeah. the only two choices? Is yeah, she can't. There's no like fucking she can warrior do. or Bene Jesuit mother. Yeah, like sweep up the shrine. Yeah. I, <laughs> well, the one guy had was watering the palm trees in the first one. That was his whole fucking job. Yeah, she could have done something like that. I, I, but like we don't. They're not farming. So like, what do they do? But meanwhile, Zendaya said that they were equal men and women there. True. Not if you got those tattoos on your face, you're mm, special. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Wow, well, hypocrisy. And what? A, you're right. I want to know what the fuck they're eating out there. It's like what? There's nothing. Was there the maybe one scene when Zendaya was eating like oh, no. something? It was like yeah, chips no, or something. Chips? No, Paul was eating at spice. He's like the food has spice. In it. Oh yeah, it was like it was like gruel. That was it. It was, it. It was muck with sparkles yeah, in it. Yeah. How do you think they made that in real life? Just like mashed up beans. He had to take that take like potatoes with food coloring with with black brown food coloring. Mm -hmm. Grim. Or it's just clay. There's clay with some sparks (laughs) glitter in it. They're just eating clay. Do they eat the? the, Is sandworm meat good? Ooh, that's a that would feed your village for some time. Kill one of those things and. 
If they're they're down to kill the baby ones for the secret potion, mm. Greg, get yourself a big motherfucker. Okay. Also, <clears throat> sh- her the like the baby worm thing. I have a problem with that. She said, "Oh, just the baby ones," and then she picks up this thing that looks like a fully grown boa constrictor. <laughs> like that thing would fuck you up in a heartbeat, or, like, dude. Even it wrapping itself around her, like wouldn't that just cut off? Yeah, like, I'm sure it could. It could squeeze the life out of you before you drowned it, especially if it realized what you were doing. Yeah. Like and and like it also is funny that it had to be like a full body pool, like a full body sand pit to the full body pool. You couldn't just have like a little tank. I don't know. It doesn't seem as epic, I guess. The uh, it's the the sandworm riding in this movie seemed a little too easy. Well, it was hard for Paul, but then all of a sudden they were riding They're like children, women yeah. and children on They're the like backs. They're like transporting <laughs> what the fuck? like twenty people. Well, they didn't. They weren't riding the biggest grandfather worm you've ever seen. That's true. Do I they... like I like how they that that felt really like a like when you're with a girl and they're like telling you how big your dick is. That really felt like that when they were like, it's the biggest grandfather worm you've ever seen. I'm like, why are we exaggerating for a minute here? Is it? It's quite possible. Is it the biggest you've ever seen? Did he, does he claim that one to ride it later? Like in, uh, like Avatar? Like he made a, he made a connection with it with his hair braid. How many are there? Worms? Yeah. That's a good question. They just like summon them at will. Maybe there's like a, a big daddy great grandfather worm that nobody's even seen yet. Yeah, where's the uh, the boss of the worm? There's one that just can go out into space. Where's the worm that can eat the other worms? Yeah, do they eat each other? What do the worms eat? Do like in that first one when they ate up one of the uh, spice collectors? Yeah. What's the nutritional value in all that like metal? Like, what is it getting out of that? Maybe it ha- it can digest metal. Those things, like, they can survive with zero calories or a million calories a day. Those worms. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe they're, like, made of metal. Because, like, the teeth, when he was fighting at the end there, the teeth were making metal sounds. Clanking? When he was hitting the other guy's sword. The, yeah, the tooth of the sandworm is stronger than the That's true. The future. That's true. Um, I know that when, when they're riding them, like, they didn't, like, talk about it. I guess you could think it logically through, but... In the, like, first one, or, like, in the 1985 version, they, like, talk about how, like, the idea is they, like, get on them, and then they, or they, they run beside them, and then they push a shovel into their, like, scales, which are all, like, pointed backwards, and they rip open the scale a little bit. And the idea is, is that uh, the worm will turn so that the wound is out of the sand. So you, like, stick the shovel in, open, so I think that's what they were doing in this one. It seemed like there was like air coming out of them. Yeah, though. there was like so like it might have been lungs little or mini something. When they yeah, lifted up the scales. Maybe that's how they breathe or something. But yeah, it seemed like or but that's that's how they de- described it in the old one is that they like you pull this the wound open a little bit and then the worm is like fuck can't get that in the sand. Can the worm just filter out all the sand it's eating instantly? I, th- I was wondering just that too. Eating sand as they move. They're just pooing it out the other yeah, side. Yeah, it's just like shooting out the other side. I mean, their their biology works for it. They like the water, water for like fish. I guess same thing. I guess maybe they're making glass out the back. They should take advantage of that <laughs> glass production. Maybe the spice is just worm poop. Yeah, I mean, like I don't know what the fertilizer, what the spice is. I thought it was the dead worms, but I really have no idea. You're probably onto something, though. That poison stuff was clearly powerful, and that was from a worm. And maybe the blue stuff, when it dries up, just becomes the spice, makes your eyes blue. Yeah, I think in the last, like in the 1985 one too, everybody's all the Fremen's eyes were blue, and then like in this one, Paul's eyes were blue like sometimes, and like Zendaya's eyes were blue sometimes, but not all the time. I don't know. I don't know when, what time of the day the spice hits you enough to get blue eyes. Hmm. What's Night, the deal? Nighttime's best. Because <laughs> then you can, you can see it better in the nighttime. Mm. I wish there was more Christopher Walken speaking. 
He didn't really talk much oh, in this movie. Dude, he, he didn't get like his real rhythm going no, he until he was up on the throne yeah. right at the yeah. end. Yeah, like that's and when then he, he had started the, unveiling his voice. His he's voice. like, Paul Atreides, yeah. is he dead? What did they, there was, there was a, a Maib, Mahib, they called him. Uso Maib? Medib. 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 Yeah, what yeah whatever the, 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 dude, the Paul kangaroo had, worm Paul was. Had 15 names in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's difficult to like keep track when they throw just a bunch of wild I'm names. I'm excited at you. to watch it with the subtitles. Mm. People's names. So you think you'll remember them better? Well, call them one thing all movie. They call them twenty different things. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> and then like the Bene Gesser girls have their names for him. It's all fucking different. Mm, that's true. What was the the one thing they were calling him? Like. Kazach Hadarak or whatever. God damn it. They're, that, that, yeah, that was thrown out there. It's it's because Dune, like the the books are like written. They're deep, man. How many they, books you are go there? I don't know. There's a lot. Well, they um, better make a movie for everyone. I think they do like Dune and then there's like Children of Dune. And then there's, I don't know. There's a bunch of them. Spin off. Oh, dude, this movie's going to, this is the new Fast and Furious franchise. Oh, I hope so. There's <laughs> not one bad Fast and Furious movie. And there's ten of them. I mean, Josh Brolin's already in it. Uh, Zendaya and and uh, Homeboy, Timothy Chalamet. Timmy. But like, you could you could just stud this. Ca- I mean, Jason Momoa was in the last yeah, they one. Can throw in some more names. And like the new characters in this one's role. The Rock will definitely be in the next the- one. Is this his tone? Though? Vin this Diesel. Be his tone. Yeah, because he's like Maori, so like he would make a perfect Fremen. He could, or he could be a Harkening guy. He's already bald. Just make him, <laughs> make him just white paint. White. I don't yeah. know if the rock's going to go for being white, painted white. white. Why? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Batista did, I guess. But yeah. I think I think Batista's a little more low budget than, uh, than I, the rock. Well, in uh, Black Adam, the rock was like kind of white. I thought he played like a, a more like... When they had those, he was kind of white. What are you was, talking about? They had yeah. like that dust, that white dust on him. No, like I don't think the no. white dust makes him like, white. I think that makes him covered it, in white dust. It's a preview. No. <laughs> like. You like see somebody come out of a coal mine. You're like a black man. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's a white guy covered in coal. Well, that's what it looked like in Black Adam. <laughs> but he was I like mean, white. If we dust. get if we get Jason Statham as a Harkonnen, any be, any bald actor. Joe Rogan? Let's just this ball. <laughs> Joe Rogan would have been, dude, Joe Rogan as the Baron would have been just a high quality. Just Joe Rogan in a fat suit flying around. He could do the play by play at the Coliseum. Yeah, like Sam Jackson, Patrick Stewart, Terry Crews. All these Terry guys could, could make killer Harkonnens. I mean, The Rock could just be like the leader of like another one of the seven houses. The Fremen? One of oh, the seven houses oh, at the Oh, end yeah. There. What about... Oh, yeah. What are the other houses? Do you oh, have? shit. No, I have no idea. There's, it you're gonna like have several. You're going to have like... There's a bowl one. They're going to they're gonna like pick a like a famous person to run each house. Isn't the Atreides uh, sigil a bowl? Yeah. No, so I'm saying like, are they just all animals? Like, what's their deal? I, I assume, well, maybe they're like intergalactic species, some of them. Mm. Oh, yeah. How come there are no aliens? Octopus? Are there, it like, is, are there like houses that are like they see the bull and they're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> like, you guys oh. have crazy shit on your planet. Definitely. Also, the entire universe is mainly like humans. <laughs> like, it's just That's human. what it looked like. Yeah. That's what, a, what was the fireworks they were shooting off? Those were cool. Planet? They were was cum shots. Was it like slime? <laughs> it, it, it was like it was like splattering in, in the air. Black cum. Yeah, that's when when the Harkonnens come, they shoot it and then it, it explodes when it's that's like three feet from their body. Too, the Baron, he's bathing. That was a pool of his family's semen, his Jesus heirloom Christ. semen. Yeah, it looked like um, I don't know if you ever had like olive oil with uh, vinegar like uh, like balsamic vinegar it's like in in like Italian cuisine you like dip your focaccia in olive oil with with balsamic vinegar and like it kind of separates like that that's the bathtub he was in just looked like olive oil and balsamic vinegar <laughs> I've heard of it I've never tried. I mean that's just what it looked like to me he was being Actually, he was being I, marinated I've tried the the balsamic vinegar dip before and I didn't like it. <sighs> that's blasphemy well, wow! There's a lot of uh, factions in Dune. Oh yeah, 
Like how like like five, ten, three hundred, four thousand. I guess there would have to be a lot interplanetary. Only three movies total, apparently. Oh shit! So the the entire next one is just going to be a battle for space. That's expectations sick. Expectations high for Dune two. This Google is behind on the time. Dune. So apparently, so this one got first. It got highest rated in the Dune franchise, and then which naturally this one. Um, yeah, this movie, and then uh, apparently this got overall the highest ratings of any movie ever dude it was so 90, it was over it was like 95 percent rotten to me but but i mean like across all critic scores apparently it scored the highest and uh they're saying that shawshank redemption was the was the number one movie for 30 years and it got dethroned by dune part two imagine good, good. i no, morgan freeman's out there fucking turning over dude, he's losing I his mind the rest of my life not seeing shawshank redemption do you have you seen it i yeah i've seen it dude it's like yeah it didn't change my life what yeah. dude it's it was a, so it, good it's a it was so good meh. It was like when they meh. fucked the the sisters guys up or whatever for raping buddy in prison they're like, oh, you don't fuck with this guy. And the guards beat the living hell out of him and he can never like walk again. You're like, that's justice. It's a feel good moment. This is, is justice. justice. Is it justice? He's I am vengeance. He he was already in jail. I don't think does the who was the guy's name who who the, the white guy? What was his name? In, was in what? The white Shawshank Redemption. Oh, uh, Andy Du Andy Dufresne. Yeah, did was it was it justice for him? He still got raved. So. Yeah, but like, well, okay, you have two choices. You either get raped and your your rapist just goes on to live a normal life in prison and then gets out, or you get raped and then the guards shit kick him so bad he never walks again. Does he What's your choice? What's your choice? What do you pick? What if he gets out and then I get my own revenge? Oh, I mean, mm. So you're saying the guards took that from him? Does he they, know he that wanted, the guards beat him up? He wanted to like like uh, like Paul slowly sliding the tooth into the Baron's neck. You wanted you wanted vigilante justice of your own. You wanted to lead the Fremen to kill yeah. somebody who raped you. Yeah, yeah. I, hey, I <laughs> yeah. teach their own. But does in Shawshank Redemption does he know that the guards beat up the guy? I can't remember. I hope he. Yeah, I think he does. Yeah, how do you not? Like, it's a prison with like a hundred guys in Maybe it. He has You've heard. You fun. hear about somebody getting fucked up that bad. Wouldn't someone hear him scraping the wall all night? Oh, that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I maybe like they. Loud. Maybe they had the radio going all night. Maybe he did during the day. How does he? What if like when he's getting close to the end? How does he like keep track of time? When he's like, he's like squeezed so deep in it, just scraping it. It's morning. Oh fuck, it's morning. It's a good question. Like you don't know how. Like you would he see the light of time. at the end of the, at the know. end of the cell. Maybe. Like where the cell. Um, <laughs> fuck, dude, he I puts the the poster up behind him, so he's like trapped in the tunnel. Do you think he does? I, I feel like he would leave it off while he was in there. Maybe. There. What? Well, like, is there no guards just walking around like, looking at that night? <laughs> Maybe you knew the security rounds. What if you find like just some like empty rooms with like cool shit in it and decide that it's not that bad anymore? Like it's prison's not too bad. Oh, like is, he, finds a, he, he finds a he finds a secret, secret room, room and that's yeah. his whole like. <laughs> like he doesn't want to. <laughs> the rest leave of jail. his sentence, he just has contraband in the secret room, and that's like that's the win. He just takes the W and never goes any further. I like that. I like that as an idea. He that would a, be a better ending. He's got a stock of toilet wine in there. Yeah, they they find his stock of contraband ramen <laughs> in the fucking room that he dug to. What percent is toilet wine? Alcohol? Yeah. Uh, whatever as strong percent as possible. you make it. Yeah, like, I know, like, wine has to do with, like, the amount of sugar that's in the product. And I think they use, like, just, like, juice. Like, uh, shitty concentrated juice. So is that make. gonna be good or bad from the prison? Yeah, yeah. Like I think they get their hands on like, I I imagine it's actually not that bad. Especially you would like keep tasting it until it's not sweet anymore, and then you would know that like the alcohol has pretty much fully like developed because the yeast uses the sugars up to create alcohol. So like I feel like you just keep tasting it till it's not 
uh, sweet anymore. And then you'd be like, there you go, boys. It's Where wine. Where you get the yeast from? Well, like, the yeast is, like, natural in the air. So you can, like, naturally ferment shit. Mm. That's what old, like, old Lambic beers. There's, like, uh, a Lambic beer is when they... What they do is they, like, open the vats of, like, the wort, which is, like, the marley, barley and water mixed together and boiled. And they open them up, and they open all the, like, doors of the factory. And then they let the natural yeast, like, blow through for, like, a day or two or whatever. And then they close them all up and just let it ferment because it uses, like, the natural yeast in the air. Yeah. Mm. It's really good beer. That sounds dangerous. I've – I one of my uh, – Teachers. That sounds like a company you could sue. You got sick from their yeast from the air. Well, I think that's that not safe. I think that that's alcohol kills off. Yeah, you, you could sue. Up the doors. But that's why they these companies only exist in like Germany mm. because like their laws for suing people are very different than the U.S. Like anything goes. Yeah, well, I don't know if anything goes, but I my my teacher uh, from my like beer and spirits class. In culinary school said that he went to uh, I think he said he went to Africa and they were making like a, a fermented beer there and he said they were like they toured the like factory or whatever and he said that the guys were getting into the mixture into like they were stepping in yeah it. they were not just stepping full body getting into Swing? the mixture to well they, they had these like paddles and they were like scooping it up and mixing it but they were he said they were in the vats and then he said that like guys were like spitting in it and stuff too. Wouldn't that get you drunk? No, no, no. Before before the alcohol starts being produced, like it's like they're using like the yeast of their body and like the natural yeast. Too. And then Spit. he hmm. said that they like at the end of the tour they give you the beer and he was like, "This is grim." <laughs> <laughs> he said it was really good beer though. So yeah, I would respect it more. I think it tastes better. There's human parts in it. Well, that's like old school wine. Like wasn't wine they used to like stomp with their feet. To like squeeze the grapes, that's a thing. What if you had uh, like right. bunions, <laughs> and then you drank someone's bunions? <laughs> you just think you're drunk. You're not poisoned. You're fucking drunk. <laughs> <laughs> drank someone's bun. Yeah. Like dissolved bunion or like a piece of skin. Like a piece of skin oh, that falls off when you stomping those grapes. I seen. A, like a, a video of like a guy or a, a bar in like I don't know like Ireland or something that has a toe so you can do a toe shot so they have a toe like a real human a toe human from a toe? cadaver and they uh, they keep it in a bottle of alcohol and like when you want when you pay for a toe shot they like stick the toe in the shot glass and like it's a big toe so it's a big toe they stick the toe in the shot glass and they pour the alcohol in with it and you take the shot of alcohol from the toe from the toe shot is it it's a dead person's toe yeah it's a human toe how old is the toe i so they said that um they said that it's been like this had to be replaced like four or five times because of and it's not from people stealing it apparently people have accidentally swallowed it the toe yeah like a couple times Oof. <laughs> doesn't sound so bad does it have a nail on it I think so. Oof. I don't know. Maybe like a, once it's been in alcohol long enough, it just turns into like a, a slippery it, eel and it just the, slides down your gullet. The the toenail turns into spice. That's how the spice is made. What do you think tastes better? A toe. Oyster or that toe? I haven't tasted that toe, but I'd like to think the toe tastes pretty good. It's been fermenting in that alcohol this whole time. So it just tastes like it's like a liquor toe. It's slimy, so it does just slide down. It's not going to chop you up on the way down. I don't... Maybe. Maybe if it cuts your... Like, the nail cuts your neck on the way down, your throat Ooh. on the way down. Okay. How are... How do the worms get born? How do worms get... Like, worms and, like, dirt? I can see, like, one of those big-ass motherfuckers having a litter of hundreds. No, but, like, in real life, like, how do worms... Human worms become on Earth? Yeah, like earthworms. How do they... Eggs? Are they eggs? I don't, I don't know. Say eggs. They're just like... Because kids can get worms. They're in slime like sacks get worms. in the ground. And there's like eggs or something from eggs. Oh, the, you're talking about the uh, the anus thing? Yeah. You like put that a piece one. of tape on your oh, anus yeah. to yeah. check Wait, if they there's... Split, they just split in two. No. Were you ever told as a kid if you cut worm in half it just becomes two worms? Yeah. Is that not true? Is that true? 
I thought they had like a bunch of hearts or something, so they could just. So like, there you go. So they just, just like duplicate themselves. No, I, I think I think Dylan's right about the. If you like, uh, if you want to check if you have like worms, apparently you like put a piece of tape on your your butt. If like, I have worms, yeah. Know if you have worms, dude, it's gonna be in your shit. I fuck. I don't know, dude. But apparently, you put a piece of tape on your <laughs> How do you butt. Check if you have and worms. Then <laughs> you like send it in. What are the side effects of having worms? Like, what's the way you can find out besides the tape? <laughs> it feels like there's well, something, something crawling well, they, around. They, in the no, in the tape. this is wretched. But apparently, <laughs> they come out at night. And like lay eggs, like so they'll come out of your butt to like lay the eggs on the like surface. So if you got an itchy butt crack, Dude, apparently that's if you, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. a symptom. If you if your ass crack is itching constantly at night, if you're like, oh, what the fuck was that? Then you you should Dude, put a piece of tape. You night. should put a piece of tape on your anus, brother. Wait, does Metamucil help get rid of the worm? I don't know. It cl- it grabs it. All the fiber grabs up the worm and. Metamucil is the spice in in real life. It's the body's spice, the digestive tract spice. Metamucil is a a religious experience. <clears throat> you know what? If you're not using meta, um, I strongly suggest people use meta. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're fish- this use? podcast is officially sponsored by Metamucil. <laughs> that would be fantastic. <laughs> so you can take the best dumps of your entire life. What's your like an ice cream your machine style for meta? When? How much? Uh, my regimen yeah. is I, I take a heaping tablespoon, like just like out of the drawer, like not like a measure or like, 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 like a, like a tablespoon, like not like measured tablespoon okay, okay. like for baking. Yeah. I mean like a, like okay. just a drawer spoon yeah, to got a heaping motherfucker. And I put it in a, a, a cup, fire in a bunch of cold water and, uh, how much, down how that much? quick. Like, like I don't a, put a lot of water a, in a regular size cup. I feel like I drink too much water with Metamucil. Like, like I drink water constantly through the day. To not well, so like, dude, if you let Metamucil sit for a second, it turns into jelly. Oh yeah, the sludge. That's, that's, that's what that's it's doing stuff. in your body. Like, yeah, yeah, that's it's that's how it cleans out the pipes. It turns into a sludge turns into a in snake your, in your intestines. It turn yeah, it turns into a, a dune worm. Do you believe the myth that your intestines are like twenty feet long? The, I the myth. Because I certainly don't. Are we are I we a don't. are we an intestine length denier podcast? Yeah, I fucking don't believe that shit for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you seen Machetti? <laughs> yeah, dude. I've seen Do you remember when he cuts that guy's stomach open? He grabs his intestines and runs wow. and jumps out the window, and then he swings from Buddy's intestines into the next window. Well, like he has magic. <laughs> <laughs> so obvious. Obviously, human. it's real. That's a prop human. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I saw that on Mythbusters. And you better and they confirmed you can do that. You bet believe Danny <laughs> Trejo wanted to use a like, real intestine. Do you think he did? Scene. Like a Absolutely. goat's a goat's intestine? And I hope it was a human's. <laughs> a cadaver, hopefully. Hopefully nobody was murdered for the making of Machete. I just like twenty how what is the actual You got murdered for, for the making of a Machete? It was Lindsay Lohan's career. You did get to see some almost okay, her big wait, titties Lindsay, in that though. So Lindsay Lohan did Mean Girls. What was her thing before Mean Girls? She was in a show? Lindsay Lohan? Uh, uh, Sister Swap or something? There's a oh, movie. The Parent Trap. Parent Trap. The parent, dude, that, the, what is dude that's such mean a good girls? movie. Hold on. Parent Trap and Dune? Oof. <laughs> close. Very Wait. close. Very close. So you said Dune past Shawshank Redemption. Number two at the time was Parent Trap. It should be. Better be. I don't think it was a show. Dennis Quaid? Trap. Holy shit. No, it was a movie. I don't remember that one. Dennis Quaid? I know, uh, I know Dennis Quaid. What the fuck's her, the lady's name? The British lady. Shit. Good Lindsay one. Lohan t- twice? Yep. That's her name? <laughs> the mother lady's name? No, shoot. What's her name? She's from. She's in Love Actually. Another solid movie. Um. Natasha Richardson. Let me see. Lisa Ann Walter. But uh, so Parent Trap. Oh yeah, I'm Girls. thinking about Natasha Richardson. Okay. Mean Girls and Herbie. Mm-hmm. Herbie fully loaded. What was she in? I like. What As a kid, I think she's just a teen star. I don't know. So and then um, and then she got in trouble. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> she got in trouble with like drugs and stuff. Oh, I think she got deep into the drugs. So where is she now? She's podcasting. No, that's Amanda Bynes. <laughs> Amanda Bynes. Oh my god, dude! All you remember all that Freaky Friday. Oh yeah, Freaky Friday. They came out the new version of that, eh? Okay, Freaky Friday. And it was um I think it was a musical by accident. By accident. Or fucking sorry, a lot of people were going by accident not realizing it was a mute. Dude, <laughs> did you know that was Wonka a was a musical? What? The new Willy Wonka with our boy Timmy. Is a no. Musical. Yeah. It's like 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 there's not just a couple cuz like the original Willy Wonka had like a few songs in it, but it wasn't a musical. I think our our boy Timmy has like a sound. It's like a legit like musical. Oh my god. Yeah, fuck that, dude. I'm a fan of Timmy. I don't want to watch a musical though. I was going to watch I was going to watch it in theaters. Dude, I would have been dude, pissed I mean, if that were a musical. I yeah, I would have been fucking Nobody rattled. likes that. Nobody likes that. No. I, no. It's a musical fantasy film. Like, oh, maybe like God. when High School Musical came out, and it's like you watched it, but when you went to school, it's like, oh no, I haven't seen it. But you did see it, and you kind of. The it. only musical I ever liked, like I didn't even like Grease. I liked Hairspray. Hairspray was pretty good. John Travolta playing. Dude, that was mom. so funny. That's his best role. That was. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Pulp Fiction might be a good one too, but yeah. Or Pulp Be Fiction. Cool. Have you ever seen okay. Be Cool? Yeah, Be Cool. Is That's good. a good That's movie. That was like, The Rock was low key in that movie. Oh yeah, and yeah, Vince like, Vaughn. Wait, did The Rock have hair in that movie? Yeah, he did. He had they a big gave afro. Him an afro, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, was that like an ensemble movie kind of? Yeah, yeah. Danny DeVito was in it mm. for like the briefest moment. He was like, showed up in like a Lamborghini or something. How does he drive that? <laughs> Long pedals. <laughs> Danny DeVito. Sits on a pillow. <laughs> I In hope the so. Lamborghini? Yeah. That would make him not be able to drive like worse. It'd make it even harder. He's further away from the pedals. He's sitting on a pillow. Long, Even longer pillows. P- pillows. Does uh, Danny DeVito have a wrench on him or what? There's no chance. I Maybe though. No chance. But you don't like think maybe, so? maybe not like long, but like mega Thick? girth. Mega girth. Oh, maybe. Like it's like it's like four inches in Un- length. Uncut? Four inches in length, eight inches in length. Do you think he's uncut? Yes. yes. <laughs> the, the, the guy's a goblin, of course he's uncut. His dick probably looks exactly like him from that scene in Always Sunny where he climbs out of the couch naked and he's like all oiled up. I have not seen it. <laughs> no? Seen you watch Always Sunny? Oh, yeah. You know the scene I'm talking about? He's slimy and lubed up. <laughs> Why is he all slimy? He's hiding in a couch. Hand sanitizer or some <laughs> shit? I don't know, man. Would covering yourself in hand sanitizer kill you? For how long? Because, well, well, your body's absorbing that shit. Your skin's but, absorbing all that That's shit. what I mean, for how is long? Is it in like, your body, too? Like, he, he rubbed it all over himself. Well, like, for, like, 20 minutes, so he takes a shower, or, like, three hours? The rest of the day. Hmm. Those guys, like, on his Always Sunny, like, those guys are greasy as fuck. He's not washing that off. <laughs> <laughs> Might just evaporate off you. Would you catch fire? If you got if question. you got lit on fire, you would. What if you had hand sanitizer all over your body? Yeah, if you got if, if there was like a spark, you'd die. The you'd, sun, like, would the sun catch you on fire? The sun in Iraq. I feel like <laughs> the sun in Iraq is definitely. You think you could switch out like like play a prank on your buddy in Arrakis and like switch the fluid out in his suit for like something gross? Piss. Actually, no. They welcome. <laughs> they piss. would be happy. Yeah, they it, piss. it probably like they, pee, they must pee themselves. I wish it. Like, that's like a big drink. What about what about shit? Together. Do they extract the like shit water? They gotta be shitting in their suits, and then the suits filter the filters. It but what does it do with like? Does it is it like? They, they, we're back to Andy Dufresne. They just pull their pant leg open, and it lets the dirt out. Mm-hmm. Or there's like the there's dry a flap at the back, like a butt flap. PJ <laughs> pajama. If you just open up your butt flap. Like a brick falls, like a. But they, so you think like they, bar. you think they pull all the moisture. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I guess. See, the thing, the other thing is like, I when I sweat, 
I'm sweating like crazy from my head and face. Like my head and face is the sweatiest part of me. So if you got me in the beating sun, I'm going to lose all of my moisture in a day and a half through my head. Dude, the bottom of my feet get really sweaty. Well, they but they they those are in boots, so those like filter the like extra like they would pull that out. I'm talking but, about real life though, right now. No, I'm, <laughs> there's been times where I've lost footing because my foot was so sweaty, dude. I slip. I it's slip, all the it's all the, it's all the toxins. It's all the toxins exiting no, no, no. your body. It's just super efficient. See? Maybe that's why socks exist. For Garner's sweaty Trench feet. Foot. Well, for Garner's trench foot. Yeah. To help have grip, dude. Well, my right foot here is like the bunion starting to turn black, <laughs> and that has to do with the sweat. You might, you might be able to get that dissolved into some alcohol, like this. Take toe, it as a toe this shot. Big toe in that alcohol drink. Yeah, that would be lethal. Oh, you've you've actually had a toe shot in the past. You had a toe shot from from Connor. When. When you sucked on his big toe. Oh, it'd be better if we had some alcohol. He took his toe and alcohol first. That would have been a lot better. Oh, Jesus. I hope Connor remembers that. Do you think he thinks about it? I think it's part of his nightmare. We should, like... It's a nightmare? We should, we should probably, like... I don't know, bleep names of, like, people we know. I this is going to be on the internet to, forever. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> well, our producer, Dylan, might... I'm gonna have to Google that one. <laughs> it's, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Google's it, gets it wrong, accidentally puts a much more offensive word in it. <laughs> I forgot about the toe thing. Do you still have the picture? Oh yeah, it's on my fridge. It's one of my most I think I have cherished a on my memories. Phone not, uh, not on my uh, fridge. Mm. So this was a wrap up. Dune was fucking good. Dune was really good. Was there any other parts of it Dude, that you... Uh... Dune was as long as I wanted it to be and as good as I wanted it to be. What's what's that girl's name? The Anya Taylor whatever? You got it. Last one's Joy. Joy. Anya Taylor Joy? Yeah. Yeah. Nice why to see actors, her in it. Why do they uh, give themselves different names? You don't think that was her original name? I think a lot of actors have... Did they give a names. stage name? Yeah. Mm, maybe. As soon as, uh, like, we should have known they showed Furiosa trailer, and we should have known she was in this fucking Maybe. She, she, how much do you think she got paid to be in it for so, four dude, seconds? So, she's the Zendaya of part two. Zendaya's barely in part one. Mm. And then, in this one, she's there. Was, so, was there ever moments where the, you heard the child The child, talking? yeah, but I thought it was talking like a weird, like... Yeah, 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 yeah it was talking like a monster. Yeah, it sounded because the mom like it talked through the mom a couple times. Is there something going on like with the mom? Does she have like Lady she, Jessica? She got, kind, she got kind of mean after she became Reverend Munner. She got kind of mean. Well, she said she absorbed the like pain of like a thousand generations or. But whatever, she was right? still all in like thinking about Paul and, and shit. Yeah, it's her. It's her baby. Well. She's, Maybe it's a mama bear situation. She's pregnant. Her son's going off, but everybody's going after them. Yeah, she's got to protect. She's gotta, yeah, she's got to protect her kids. So protect her child. So out of seven stars, <laughs> what do you give? What do you give Dude, Dune? Seven stars. So think. Oh. Hey, no, seven is a good number. So right, five. Break it down. Five was like is really good. People would say five stars is really good, so we're gonna say seven stars because we are above that. We think more than that. Okay. I'd say Dune is. Uh, this one was like six and a half. Ooh. Stars. It was everything I wanted it to be. It really did. Like I, I liked that it had so many different plot lines, yeah. like all coming it was together. So, like it was long as fuck too. By the time we even met, fade. Elvis, it was like an hour and a half into the movie, two hours into the movie. Yeah. And then when they go to the south, it's like, holy fuck, like, they still have to have that boss fight at the end. Yeah, that's true. Good, good stuff. Good I'm, I'm going to give it a six. Six out of seven approved stars. I'm going to go seven. I, uh. Seven. I don't want to, like, save that seven for, like, the perfect mm. movie, you know? If I really like a movie, I'm going to give it a seven. You don't think you might be getting the too liberal with it? The only thing that 
the critique I have is like some of the prophetic stuff was a little much sometimes. <gasps> yeah. Or just like I don't know. To make I thought it wrong. was really I thought it was really cringy when the um when Gurney goes to like kill Batista's character like at the at the end there and he like gets the vengeance and he's like for my duke. And like and does that? Oh yeah, when he throws in him, my and friends. My, he didn't my have to friends. Throw, he didn't have to throw in the friends. That was <laughs> That's not something he would say. I yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't yeah, care I for that was, scene. That, it was that also it was also so happened. quick. Like we like put I don't know put some effort into that fight. That's a pretty big fight. Like we started. He was the but, bad guy of the whole first like movie, and then the second movie he just the way he dies is he's he's like. He's uh, dishonored by his family, yeah. like Batista, and he then was pushed around, and then movie. yeah, and he he kisses his his skinny weird Dude, brother's I shoe. Felt bad for him, but when he had to do that, yeah, yeah this guy's mm-hmm. and then and then Gurney just fucking walks up and cuts him down in three seconds. I just thought like he he deserved a little more time on the screen for well, um, for fighting that battle. When we have uh, our guests on and we have Batista on, we can ask him how he. Yeah, I I plan to ask him. I'm gonna ask him a lot of questions. Ask him what's up with the whip. Clearly, a terrible weapon. Yeah, what? What the fuck, dude? Did that thing have they a just bag wanted. At the end of okay, the okay. They wanted I, it to be different. Let's, be different. Let's, be different. let's think about this here. Uh, he's painted super pale white, and they gave him a whip, and he enslaved a culture. <laughs> like, and then they're like, "Oh, we got to put this guy down." It's like yeah, we might be guy. mirroring Evil some guy. parts of uh, history here. Evil guy. Yeah, they're just mm, they're just trying yeah, to really yeah. drive it home. He, he, there's no duality in the Harkonnens. They're all just bad. They're just bad well, people. Well, some of like the one at the beginning, he's like, "Sir, maybe you should get some rest." And then he smashes his face. Yeah, on but the he's computer. he he's only a pleb for House Harkonnen. He's not a Harkonnen. Okay. Right. He's just a fuck boy. That guy was born somewhere in uh, somewhere in Canada, Upper Canada. <laughs> he's just. <laughs> This guy, he's not tough enough, but he's kind of smart with these computer things. We'll off them when he pisses off on us. Pisses off us off. <laughs> Last question. The Reverend Mother, before or after face tattoos do you prefer? Dude, she has like a she had a nice little bit of uh, like freckles and stuff. Dude, right? I like her in other like Mission Impossible and the other movies she's in. I don't even have know you, what else have she's in. Have you watched in? um Re- reminiscence reminiscence have you watched no. that Hugh Jackman sounds, it's like sounds it's like um, you can that movie's kind of like you can go to some place like a clinic and you can relive memories you can like watch memories again. Mm. and she's a, she's cute dude I like her hmm the pale she's got like a pale freckly face here right go and watch like memories again yeah you just like rewatch memories wasn't that like a black mirror episode yeah it was also like Iron Man or Civil War too. Yeah, and like wait, uh, Black Mirror. Yeah, there Black, was a one. Black was... Mirror did one where you could rewind and like go look at any part of your life, and then the guy like finds Dude, out that his that wife's cheating my... on him, and he's like, he's like, show me this date, show me, and she's like, oh fuck, I deleted it, and he's like, no, you're dead, and then it's just her getting oh, railed. Maybe. There's another Black Mirror episode where. They can, um, like, if someone dies, they can tap into their brain and see their what they saw. Oh, something like that. that was my favorite Black Mirror episode. I, f- I feel like there's there was, that was like, like that Wild West movie with Will Smith. Yeah, movie. you could like Wild, you Wild could, Wild yeah West. you could yes. watch. That's a good movie. What somebody saw last. Yeah, yeah. that's also kind of like Minority that Report. Time. That movie was sick. Minority wild, no, or, wild, wild, yeah, wild, wild West with, really, with Will really Smith really. is so good. The guy with the like the arachnid wheelchair that was sick, dude. I like the disgusting guy with the trumpet ear <laughs> <laughs> and the and the he chain was, balls or dude, whatever. Yeah, he was so good. Oh my god, that uh that uh, buzzsaw gun was pretty intense. Oh, the like thing that shoots the disc that yeah, has the mag- magnetic. magnetic. Yeah. I don't think the people who wrote that movie know how magnets work. Doesn't matter. Because <laughs> it's like they're, they're just like magnets. they're like, oh, this is a super powerful magnet. Will Smith is so good at acting that he doesn't. They, you don't need to explain science. That's fair. <laughs> but before or after face tattoos, I like her mal malnour- malnourished. Um, 
in the first movie or her reverend mother status. So Zendaya is Zendaya is not an option, eh? I well, have to. Go, okay, have I to have to hook up with Paul's mom. Yeah. Can I? Can I choose Duke Leto? Duke Leto Dude, before Duke. or after he died? Duke when he's like nothing on the table. When he's Duke when he's Leto. limp. Yeah. On the chair. Yeah. That's the, the you have to get him at that status. Um. And he's not gonna poison you. He's just limp. No, he definitely. Will remain there. Definitely before the face tattoo. Face tattoos are they're a lot, man. She pulled it off though. I I mean like she pulled it off as the Reverend Mother. I don't know if she like <laughs> Okay, so And she's pregnant too though. She's got face tats and she's got she's pregnant. Mm. Oh well, well actually At, that adds on to the attractiveness. After she gives birth, maybe. Pregnant. Could be a possibility. Want, well her womb is full of that blue like alien or worm blood. Cause she did she give birth to that kid at the end? Because at the end of the movie, she was like flat stomach again, for a moment. Hmm. Did I miss that? Maybe it was just a bad editing. Okay, so pre face tattoos now smiley face Zendaya or grumpy face Zendaya? Grumpy face, <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah. Dude, the, she was giving him that grumpy look the entire like first part of that movie. I like that they didn't like they didn't sexualize her in the movie. They like they really made it like a. A true. It was a. It was a really cute love no, yeah, story. Yeah, she was super cute. It was a yeah. cute love story, okay. and her face, like her cute little frown, every time he was like, he pissed her off. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. It was good. Or what about the vision where the nuke goes off and her face is? Moving? Oh, dude, that, that was version. Fucked. Can we throw that in there? Yeah. No. Yikes. As, as an option. Oh, know? as an. Oh, you don't geez. have to. Geez. You don't have to Jesus say Christ. that. It's just an option. <laughs> I don't keep even your, keep your options open. Holy fuck. No, that was awful, dude. Do you think uh, Tom Holland gets jealous watching this movie? I hope so. Yeah. I, I mean, like, if Timothy if Timothy Chalamet was around... Man. Maybe that's why they couldn't do the, like, sex scene real intense. It's because Tom, Tom Holland was like, I'm putting the kibosh on Could that. Spider-Man beat Paul Atreides in a fight after seeing this movie? <sighs> Is I don't Tom, know, dude. I don't was know. Tom on set the whole time? Like watching that sex scene, and whenever it got a little wrong, Ooh, she got it. Do you think? Yeah, yeah Tom might have been. Tom definitely didn't like that little, that cute little kiss they had at the top of the dune. No, that was genuine too. The or the the kiss at the end when he was like crying as she kissed him. Ooh. That was that was real. Those two felt something there. Yeah, like how do you? I don't know. This is why like actors and actresses always end up. Like, oh, we did this movie together, and then suddenly they they're were just, dating for just, three yeah. years. Yeah. It's like, because in that in that movie, they had to pretend like they loved each other. And in that moment, the best way to act it is to, like, feel a little bit of it. And then they're like, also, did you want to get dinner? Or... <laughs> yeah. What are you doing after the set? Yeah. And it's not like they're ugly people either. <laughs> yeah, they're, the I mean, mo- they're like, the, arguably the most beautiful people on Earth are, like, acting in these movies. They're both actors. They have things in common. If they, if you were like, if you were, uh, if you were Zendaya's stand-in, and you were like, you had to be on top of Timothy Chalamet. You think you get hard? Zendaya's stand-in. Is he wearing the eyeshadow like in the first movie? Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, you think you'd be ready to go? No. <laughs> no, I'd do stage fright for sure. In, in front of the camera. In front of the in camera. In front of in front of Timothy. In front of the camera, man. <laughs> what about you? What's the question? You getting rock solid if you're on top of Timothy Chalamet? Absolutely. Oof. If I'm on top of Timothy Chalamet, he's not breathing. Do you want him? Do, <laughs> do you want him? Do you want him suit on or just no? I want buck that, naked. I want, a, I want that frail little boy body. <laughs> Dude, he he has the body of like a seventeen year old. Dude, Zendaya has more muscle than him. She's yeah. more jacked than he is. <laughs> He's nimble. Okay, abs- Okay, final question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the short, the the worm tamer girl, the short stumped worm tamer girl, with a worm wrapped around her, or not? <laughs> <laughs> the worm wrapped around Dude, her. Has anyone put their dick in the worm's mouth, the baby worm's mouth? Somebody's gonna with those popcorn buckets. <laughs> Somebody's oh, yeah, gonna. Those that picture you should like, Someone's definitely put their dick in that. Already. Oh God, those were those, those were such a good like marketing ploy though. They got people talking. Yeah, they know exactly what they're doing. They're like, that. oh man, I bet those feel awful. That I was looking for Maybe. them at the theater today. 
I bet they feel awful to stick your hand in. Like all the buttery, wet yeah, tentacles up, just touching your hand. They should have it like actually try and fucking grip you when you're trying to pull your hand in. <laughs> they should have made them out of metal, like the proper teeth. Mm-hmm. Also, do you think uh, the Sarlacc was maybe modeled after uh, the Dune Worms or the Dune Worms after the Sarlacc? Uh, I think... Uh, these Dune movies stole everything from Star Wars. Ooh, that's a that's a harsh accusation, but but Star Wars stole everything from that uh, samurai movie, didn't they? There's like some forty seven s- Ronin. <laughs> yeah, there's some like samurai movie that apparently is like the exact same plot lines as like with the same character development it's and everything. Tom Cruise's last as, samurai. Uh, that's a good movie. I that that one, I forget that one. That was really long. Mm. I don't understand. Isn't how there they... a samurai movie coming out soon? Shogun. It's Shogun. a show. show. It's, it's a right show. Now. Yeah, watched the, we've watched the first two episodes. It's good. It it's building. Mm. building. It's subtitle heavy. A lot of Japanese. Pure Jap- Japan. There's a death via cauldron though. Episode one. Like death. boiling in a cauldron. Oh, so like the lobsters we were talking. Yeah. But they don't take the humane this route. This is a human. And... This was. I don't think they ate him. <laughs> You don't think? I don't think they, they might have. I don't know. I mean, like 1600 Japan. I don't yeah, know. you should go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! 1600s. That. You might have been wanting for some food a little bit. Well, at yeah, least throw them to the peasants. Yeah, they might have. They might have. Uh, yeah, that's boiled good, human. Like there's there's bums nowadays. There's there was definitely bums back in the day, and. If there was a cooked body, like ready to go um, no, in a cauldron, you're not, the un, you're not saying the unhoused, Dylan. Let's be, the let's unhoused. be, we're politically correct podcast. The, the street, street, the unhoused, street water? affiliated, oh, street, street affiliated. affiliated. That's, I believe, that's the proper term. If you're street affiliated in 1600s Japan, you're, you're, <laughs> you're gonna to eat death, someone, <laughs> and there's you a boiled yeah, body ready to be eaten guy. in that cauldron. Yeah, you probably I've, sneak in a few bites. So my my friend when I was younger got burned. Uh, he like had a firework blow off in his face. I'm laughing, but like it's only because he didn't get severely injured. But he had a firework blow off in his face, and uh, he had like burns like all over his streaks all over his face for like probably a full year of like public school. They, they like faded after like a year, and then you couldn't tell. But uh, he said that <laughs> he like he couldn't hear, he couldn't see. But all he could smell was hot dogs. It's oh, when he no. burned his face, it just smelled like hot dogs the whole way to the hospital. And I was like, that's so fucking gross. So did his eyeballs get burned? No, it's just a flash. It was basically like putting a flashbang yeah. in your face. Yeah, but, So right. he couldn't hear or see for... I, think, I don't think he could like not see for like a long period of time, just for like, you know, like 20 seconds or whatever. But he said it just smelled like hot dogs cooked. That's beautiful. Should I like I, hot dogs. Should I end on that note? Yeah, okay. Do you like hot dogs? Yeah. It's a good one, especially Costco. Microwave only. <laughs> I don't like the when people put it. I no. like cake. I don't like when people put the hot dogs on the barbecue and they get charred. I don't like hot dogs like that. I only like burnt like bagels or toast. I don't want the uh, hot dogs to be fucking. There, you need the king of hot dogs, the uh, the Seven Eleven roller hot dog, the like one on that metal roller that rolls back Do and forth. Do they ever pump those hot dogs into the uh, the with the tiki to to taki? What are those? Dude, you could get like a little taco at Seven Eleven. Oh, you what could. Those, you could shove called? it in there. What are those called tiki's takis. Ta- tacos. To takis. To tiki's. To ta- I don't know. Tzatziki. <laughs> And all of those words are not what you're describing. 